Hello everybody, this is Anderson of Bimzer International. We are a passionate enterprise software maker bringing the best solution ideas since 1998. Based in New York, we are an American company upholding a strong presence in the global marketplace with many reputable references across all verticals and industries. We are the only company offering four unique products that can work independently with each other or with any other ERP or CRM system. We have been serving thousands of companies to help them simplify their processes and to be their partner in digital transformation. We offer flexibility, options, and agility to your organization so that you can reduce cost, increase revenue, and manage risk. You can contact us at any time to learn how you can get your company started on digital transformation. This video will talk about one of our revolutionary solutions built on EBA, our transactional content management system. The solution is called the Contract Manager. By automating the workflow of a contract, the Contract Manager will enforce compliance and boost efficiency among all the transactions of the contract signing process. The solution is ready to be linked to any ERP, as we will now demonstrate with the cloud ERP system Acumatica. This diagram provides the flow of creating a digitized contract from a new document. The flow calls for four internal parties. We'll first log into EBA as a flow starter and show a quick tour of the contract manager. Under the menu of Vendor Contract Management, we can maneuver through archives of the contracts reflected in the documentation of the system. We can also search and filter across multiple fields, giving us full flexibility over how we view our contracts. Below that is a more detailed archive for approved and signed contracts. Also, there is a template caption map that serves as a key for a templated contract management in the system. Next, we have the parameters involved in the process. In this example, we will be bringing vendors and purchase orders from Acumatica. There is also a customization map so you can adjust certain options pertaining to the contract permissions. Okay, now let's begin the new contract document flow. We will be bringing in from Acumatica our vendor Doug Brown and Brothers Incorporated and purchase order number 25. Again, this process will work just the same for any ERP solution system. Now we fill out the profile form with important details such as deadlines with reminders, as well as finances. We have the option to dictate the clauses that come with our contracts. The penalty clause and warranty clause are attributes available for the contract if necessary. We can also add in an explanation for the clause. And after stating the tax amount, we can add our own comments regarding the new contract document. Lastly, we will upload a draft contract for the flow and attach an image. The flow has now been initiated and passed along to the head of purchase, Emily Brown. From the home page of Emily Brown, we direct ourselves to the form straight from the dashboard. Emily will review the profile and form of the contract and can provide any notes or annotations regarding the draft's contents. Emily clicks on approve and the flow continues on to Lily Henderson from the legal department. As Lily looks through the form from her account, she can also see any comments, notes, or annotations from the previous viewers of the contract. Everything looks good to Lily, so she approves and sends the contract to our financial department run by Oliver Carter. Oliver Carter will then have his turn to run through the process. At any time during this flow, a party can send the form back to the flow starter with a reason for review. This ensures the compliance of our final contract. Either way, Oliver still approves the contract and it makes its way back to Anderson. Anderson previews any comments or explanations on his draft and proceeds to prepare and upload a refined version of the contract for signing. Anderson is now given the capabilities to send the contract to a vendor to sign, as well as the internals. These actions will help mark timestamps of the status change within the flow history. Great, now let's send this contract over to Acumatica. Take note of this contract ID number for verification, 20190116. On Acumatica, if we look into the related files of our vendor, Doug Brown & Brothers Incorporated, we can find both the form and the signed contract associated with our ID. The same goes for when we preview the purchase order number 25 in Acumatica. Our integration with Acumatica was a success, and the information is also stored in the document management module of EBA. Also, we can directly find our approved contracts back at the Archives tab. This amounts to three easy points of access for properly prepared and fully digitalized contracts within EBA. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for listening. If you liked it, subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date on other types of solutions that bring digital transformation to your company. You can also contact us directly to schedule for a free demo session of EBA. Again, this is Anderson of Bimzer International. Thank you for listening.